there's two strange things that have happened to me that I'm going to talk about. Now, there's been a lot more than two strange things that have happened to me in my life. But for right now, I'm only going to talk about two of them. And if anybody has any explanations for either of these, just let me know. I'm open to anything anybody's got to say about them. Number one, I was about nine years old at the time. We had a freezer. I was standing next to the freezer. I think I was standing to where the back of my knees were next to the freezer. And a hard, harsh pop happened in the back of both my knees at the same time. The best way I can explain it is if somebody could crawl inside my knees and blow a balloon at the back of my knees and then pop the balloons at the same time. Anyway, it scared me. And I went and told my parents and they either didn't believe me or didn't care. They didn't investigate it. They didn't ask any questions. I think all they told me was don't stand by the freezer anymore. But I was really scared. I thought the freezer had done it. Now, I know freezers don't do that, but I had no other explanation as to what happened. And I was so scared. I asked them, am I going to die? Now, I was nine back then. I'm 59 now, and I haven't died yet, but I was really scared. I had never heard anything like that before that or after that. And number two, I have this, I don't know if you'd call it a vision or an experience, but I had always thought that it was right after I was born, I was laying there on the table and all these angels were standing over me saying my name and they were saying my name in love and acceptance like they actually liked me and they were happy that I was there. Now, that's what I had always thought that it was. Like I said, I always thought it was right after I was born and there were angels standing over me. But now that I look back, I think it might not have been right after I was born because I'm not sure if the human brain has the capability of remembering right after a person's born. So I'm thinking now it might be after I became of age, three or four, maybe I had a dream. And in my dream, I was thinking I was just born and there were angels standing over me calling my name. So actually, there's three possibilities what it could have been. It could have been like I said, after I became of age, three or four years old, and I had a dream, dream when I was first born, or it could have been actually when I was first born. Maybe the human brain does have that capability, or maybe it was before I was born. Now, some people don't believe that, but I do. It might have been right before I was born, and so the angels were there talking to me. Now, if it was right after I was born, then it might not have been angels. It might have been nurses, or it could have been a bunch of nursing students or med students. So, I don't know which of those three possibilities it was. Before I was born, right after I was born, or after I became of age and I was able to dream and remember my dreams. But one more thing about that that was kind of odd. The angels were calling me by my first name. And my first name is Andrea. Now, let me explain. My mom never called me that. She always called me by my middle name. I don't know why she even named me Andrea because she never called me that. She called me by my middle name until the day she died. In fact, she enrolled me in school by my middle name, and I went by my middle name until I was in sixth grade. Then I said, no more. 
Everybody else goes by their first name. I don't like my middle name. I'm going by my first name. So from sixth grade until today, I went by my first name. So if those were nurses right after I was born, then they must have got to me and started calling me by my first name before my mom got in there and had a chance to tell them, don't call her by her first name. She's going by her middle name. So anyway, like I said, I don't know if they were nurses or if they were angels, but one thing I do remember is they were all female. Now, I have heard Bible scholars saying that angels are either neutral or else they're males, that angels are not females, but whoever this was in this vision or experience were all females. Well, anyway, that's all I've got to say about those two strange experiences.